vocalist stand by. Poet stand by. What we present to you today is a live performance bringing together visuals, sounds, vocal soundscapes which you hear right now and bring forward the, the Prophet Muhammad final sermon as an experience, inshallah, something perhaps that you may have not seen before. Engaging you with all of the different senses through colour, through sound and words. I'd like you to just absorb the sounds you hear and the words that you hear.
Sometimes our hearts beat louder. Our hearts beat louder. Our hearts beat louder than the music of city streets. Of horns blaring sirens and the bustling of busy feet, our hearts beat. Our hearts beat yearning for the words of the beloved Our people, our people gather in empty hospital corridors, staring at their reflections in sterile hospital floors. They gather, they gather around white sheets and operating beds, sometimes to celebrate life. More often than not, to welcome the dead. Prayer calls in little ears exists between scalpels and families coming to grips with their fears and in the midst of blood and tears here in the space between life and death before that final breath it is here that we wait it is in these moments we wait to hear last words Last words, and what better last words than the best of creation? He, the man synonymous with inspiration, who scaled mountains to receive the revelation. Words that pierce through the echo of the darkest nights, reverberating through our eternity, from the birthplace in the mountain of light. This is what the sound of love looks like. This is what the sound of love looks like. Last words, heard throughout the plains in the cities, hearts stop, hearts stop to listen, from the doors to the rooftops, from screaming walls in England, 
to the rowdiness of London streets. Let us take you back, take you back. of Arafat, where he, the man Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shared his final words to the world. As the pilgrims gathered, tired and weary, dressed in white cloth, sweat dripping down foreheads and dust stained knuckles, this is what he said. Oh people, not all Muslims, not all you who believe, it was it. You stood atop that mountain, speaking to the whole world. And this is what he said. But I know not whether after this year I shall ever be amongst you again. Therefore, listen to what I am saying to you very carefully and take these words to those who could not be present here today. Oh people, just as you regard this month, this day, this city as sacred, so regard the life and property of every Muslim as a sacred trust. Return the goods entrusted to you, to their rightful owners. Hurt no one, so that no one may hurt you. Remember that you will indeed meet your Lord, and that he will indeed reckon your deeds. God has forbidden usury. Therefore all interest obligation shall henceforth be waived. Your capital, however, is yours to keep. You will neither inflict nor suffer any inequity. God has judged that there should be no interest and that all the interest due to Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib shall henceforth be waived. Beware of Satan for the safety of your religion. He has lost all hope that he will ever be able to lead you astray in big things. So beware of following him in small things. Oh people, it is true that you have certain rights with regard to your women, but they also have rights over you. Remember that you have taken them as your wives only under a trust from God and with his permission. If they abide by your rights, then to them belongs the right to be fed and clothed in kindness. Do treat your women well and be kind to them, for they are your partners and committed helpers. And it is your right that they do not make friends with anyone of whom you do not approve, as well as never to be unchaste. Oh people, listen to me in earnest. Worship God, perform your five daily prayers, fast during the month of Ramadan, and offer zakat. Perform hajj if you have the means. All mankind is from Adam and Eve. An Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor does a non-Arab have any superiority over an Arab. A white has no superiority over a black, nor does a black have any superiority 
over a white, except by piety and good action. Learn that every Muslim is a brother to every Muslim, and that the Muslims constitute one brotherhood. Nothing should be legitimate to a Muslim which belongs to a fellow Muslim, unless it was given freely and willingly. Do not, therefore, do injustice to yourselves. Remember, one day you will appear before God and answer for your deeds. So beware, do not stray from the path of righteousness after I am God. O oh people, no prophet or apostle will come after me and no new faith will be born. Reason well, therefore, O oh people, I understand words I convey to you. I leave behind me two things. The Quran and my example, the Sunnah. And if you follow these, you will never go astray. All those who listen to me shall pass on my words to others, and those to others again. And it may be that the last ones understand my words better than those who listen to me directly. Sorry? Be my witness. Yeah, so she... Judge. Yeah, just this one, she's deaf. Oh so God, she's, we've got a, that a, I a have conveyed um, just to, okay. your message Thank you. to your Thank people. You. Stand behind the stage. Can you get down so people behind you can see? Or get behind these guys. Cameraman. I'm gonna go in front of your camera.
أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد